is don't let this disease control you you control your disease like the i feel like when you give your disease power over you that's when it really affects you the most welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome 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 my name is Octavia if you want to get to know a little bit more about me and see what type of content I put out there because I really don't know yet I haven't classified myself yet just go ahead and hit that description button description button just go ahead and hit that subscription not description y'all see I be getting so tongue-tied if y'all want the real raw sense of the uncut just go ahead and subscribe because your girl she just she just be putting it out there okay per let's get right to the video Okay, so for all the new viewers to my channel, a little brief introduction about myself. I've already said my name. My name is Octavia. Um, I am 26 years old. I do have Crohn's disease, which I was diagnosed with in 2019. And I also am a registered dental assistant and currently now um, a dental hygiene student. Classes haven't started yet, but they're about to start very, very soon. And I'm definitely going to be taking you guys along on this journey. So... Before you continue watching this video, I did post a video about how I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and I kind of broke down what Crohn's disease is. So I would definitely suggest going to watch that video. Like right now, hit pause, go watch that video and then come back to this video. All right. All right, now that y'all have found out how I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how Crohn's disease has affected my life so far. <laughs> y'all, my number one pet peeve, before we even get into like everything else with lifestyle and stuff, my number one pet peeve with having this disease is when you go out somewhere, and like say for instance, you and your friends, or people that don't even know you, like, they y'all hanging out together. And they drinking and this, that, and the third. And they ask you, like, oh, you pregnant? Why, like, why you not drinking? I'm like, they're like, oh, you pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. Or, like, why you not drinking? Because I have Crohn's disease. Oh, what's that? And then you got to go through a whole spiel. And then they still don't understand, like, well, why you can't do this? Or why, I'm just, I'm just going to say I really hate having to explain myself and then you still don't understand or try not to even understand what's going on so that's that's, that's like the pet peeve that i have is just like constantly having to explain why i'm not doing this or why i'm not doing that or this that and the third like just 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 yeah just ugh. um my diet um, I'm not gonna say it's really changed too much. But before I was diagnosed, I didn't really eat too bad. I will say I wasn't as selective as th with the things that I ate, but I didn't just eat garbage, okay? I was eating my vegetables and you know, all that in the third. But um, I do try to stick with leaner meats like turkey, chicken, um, salmon and seafood. Well, salmon and seafood, duh. <laughs> things of that nature. Um, vegetable wise, I, of course, cook vegetables. Um, try to eat the vegetables that are more easier to digest and I definitely just I try to eat in moderation like the things I eat in moderation not eating it the same thing constantly 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 because um, that's definitely one of the things that can help you with maintaining your Crohn's disease is really watching what you eat dating with Crohn's disease dating it wasn't bad for me like at first of course I was like after I got my previous relationship because I was um in a relationship when I first got diagnosed so when I was single and kind of getting to the point where I'm ready to date I was nervous because I was like what if this person um doesn't understand my disease or they don't want to be with somebody who has a disease you know what are they going to think this that and the third and then I just had to tell myself, you know, if this person is the person you're supposed to be with or if this person really cares about you, they're not going to care about this disease. They know this disease is a part of the package deal. They know that sometimes they may have to wipe your butt 
or cuddle you or pick you up off the toilet. That's okay, they still love you. <laughs> so I just had to tell myself that and when I snapped that into my head, I was just like, whatever, you know, if I come across a person and they say, oh, I can't talk to you no more because you got Crohn's disease, I've been like, okay, that's fine. I really don't care, bye. <laughs> But um, yeah, for me, like bringing up or talking about it, it wasn't a, it, I wasn't, I was never nervous to do that. Like I'm a very honest person. So of course I told my partner, like my boyfriend now, before we even got into a relationship, I told him, I was like, hey, I got this disease, you know, um, it's not going nowhere. It could definitely um, progress. You know, it may be a time you may have to take me to the hospital. You know, you may have to like my bud. I may have to have surgeries, this, that, and the third. Like, are you, you think you can, you know, deal with that? Is it something you can really sign up for? Like, you want to be my person? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. So, I mean, so far, so good. You know, he been, he definitely has been very supportive and um, understanding of my disease. So, dating, it's, it's good. It ain't hard. Like I said, once you put it into your head, this person, can you take it or leave it? You good to go. <laughs> Mentally, I will say that sometimes it can be overwhelming uh, mentally for me just because you, I have to constantly think about what I can eat and what I can't eat and think about if my stomach's bothering me, what could have caused it. So just be, being cautious all the time and when some, when like a new symptom or something that I haven't noticed before like occurs or something like that it can it can be a little overwhelming and frustrating because you get tired of everybody gets tired of having to be good you want to be bad sometimes and when i in my case you, you get tired of you know being on point with what you eat da -da -da -da, health and all that stuff sometimes you just want to be lazy you just want to eat whatever you want to do just eat junk for 24 hours and just just get it over it. But you can't do that because you know the consequences are gonna be far worse if you do it. So I would just say it can be mentally frustrating, depressing. For me, it, I, it, I've i never gotten into a point where I don't think, I'm, I'm, I could be lying, but I don't feel like I've ever gotten to a point where I've been depressed with the fact that I have a disease that I'm not gonna get rid of. Like I, I've accepted it and it is what it is it's, it's, it's something that you live with one thing i will say is a key thing is don't let this disease control you you control your disease like the, i feel like when you give your disease power over you that's when it really affects you the most um but when you take control of it and be like yeah i run you you don't run me like it, it's, it, it definitely makes it easier to live with, um, it, it's especially for me. Anyway. Having a my disease with my career as a dental assistant, um, it hasn't really affected that. Like, um, definitely people who have Crohn's disease, we have lower immune systems typically just because of the medications that we take, which means that we are we can be more highly susceptible to getting sick or getting infections or things of that nature. But for me to help with that, I just try to make sure I'm taking like my vitamins that help boost my immune system. I wear my PPEs at work, I wash my hands, you know, just taking those extra precautions just to, and to protect yourself. Um, it doesn't affect me with how I treat my patients or any of that nature. I've never had an instance where I had to like run out of the room because I had to go to the bathroom or or I was too tired to do my job or I had to leave work early or anything like that. So I'm, I'm very thankful that my uh, Crohn's disease is not um, very severe because I've definitely heard of some cases that are very severe and like I'm like wow. <laughs> well, and that's another thing that pushes me too because I have Crohn's disease, but it's it's my Crohn's disease isn't bad. It's live withable, and the fact that there are other people out here who have my same disease and they can't even go to work is definitely like, why are you complaining? <laughs> why are you complaining? Like, really, sis, you you're doing fine. So, um. 
I would just, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this video wasn't meant to be very long. I just kind of want to give y'all like a little brief insight on how Crohn's disease has affected different parts of my life so far. And as y'all can see, it really hasn't changed too much. I feel like once you get into that mental mindset, like I said, of, hey, this disease don't run me, I run it. It makes things a lot smoother because you control it. You control your disease. Your, your disease did not control you. Um, as y'all can tell, Crohn's disease really hasn't um, made too many major effects on my life. Not negatively anyway. It's just been a, 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 an adjustment. It's definitely been a learning process and I'm still learning. Um, I don't know everything there is to know. And like I said, um, Crohn's disease is different for everybody. This is just my experience with it so far. And trust me, I know I've heard about several different cases, but um, I want to start doing these videos because I haven't seen many people, you know, document or do anything like this. So I just kind of wanted to start doing it and kind of, you know, open the comments to people who may be having different IBD or IBS or anything to like give advice and tips to other people to kind of help them through the process. Cause I know for me, when I was diagnosed, I was looking up, you know, on Instagram, like Crohn's disease groups or something like that, just to get people of what they did um, that helped them. So maybe I can try, cause maybe it can help me as well. So um, I'm definitely don't want to make these videos out out to be like oh you know Crohn's disease isn't um it's easy you know people with it can be out here faking this is what it could be and I'm not doing it at all because like I said everybody's disease is Crohn's disease is different everybody's body is different this is just my experience with my Crohn's disease so um if anybody has any comments or any you know suggestions or any like I said anything that they want to leave down below and it could be helpful to others even to me please leave them down below I want to leave it open I love when you guys uh comment and give tips because it really helps and I'm still learning this disease I've only been diagnosed for three years I'm still learning it so any tips that I can give will definitely be helpful right now um I, I am in a flare-up right now but it's not it's not as bad as when I was first diagnosed so um yeah but anyways y'all I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you find that it can be helpful to others please share the video um of course I will have more coming but until next time I will see you guys later bye